gone. Ebu Bay's mom is gone. Hi, VD. Hi, VD. You pushed my sister into the fire. You washed her bone. You videoed her. Oh! 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 This fire is burning. You burnt me. You burnt me. This fire is burning me. You watched her burn. You pushed her into the fire. You were videoing her. You were videoing her. Burning. Oh! Chimo! Hi! This fire is burning me. Hi! I don't have tears anymore. This fire is burning me. 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 It is one is burning me. This fire is burning me. Oh! I video! Oh! I video! Yeah, on the run. Oh, run. Oh, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, 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 bimbo. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please do well to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for always checking back on my channel. When women are advised to leave abusive marriages, they tend to see it as though people don't want their progress. They always make a, a statements like they don't want to, they don't want their kids to grow up in a broken home. But how much broken can a home be where the home is abusive? This woman just lost her life right now and is as a result of domestic violence. This woman right here is Bimbo and she's the wife of a popular Lagos businessman who goes by the name IVD. They've been married for 22 years and their marriage has just been a patch patch marriage. It's been filled with so much violence, it's been filled with so much abuse. A few years ago, she had left the marriage because of the continuous abuse, but then after a while, she went back into the marriage and even had made a post on social media saying that she has gone back in the marriage and that things were fine for them. But nobody knew that the abuse kept on going on until recently where her family let out a scream. She also did some posts saying that she was mentally unstable and that people should not allow her around her children because she can, she might even hurt them, she might even hurt herself, that she can no longer bear the abuse that she has gone through that is affecting her and the rest of it. But then after making that push, she went ahead to set their house ablaze. Yes, she burnt the house. I heard she had a fight with the husband and she couldn't take it anymore so she said the house are blaze but according to what her sister is saying right now the man pushed her into the fire and watched her burn he also made some videos and pictures and i'm just wondering how much how heartless can someone be like haven't you caused her enough pain that you now used your hand to end her life so that was how she died Although she was finally rescued and sent to the hospital, but the bone was already too much. She, she actually had to jump into the swimming pool with her burning body. You can imagine so much horrific moments. But her family later helped her, took her to the hospital, and she was receiving treatment, although she was burnt badly. Right now, her husband is on the run. Nobody knows where he is. And this morning, the sister just announced that she's gone. She's no more alive. She died from the fire. And she left five kids. You can imagine, she left five kids. Apparently, the husband was not just beating her, he was also cheating on her. It was quite a horrible marriage, but they kept on living in it for... They kept on living in the marriage for God knows what. And now this is the end of it. 22 years wasted. You weren't happy throughout the 22 years, and now you're gone so early. Like, please, let us learn to live to live. When you leave this marriage, you're able to extend your life and even grow your children in a happy place. There's nothing like your children are coming for a broken home. The home is broken already with all this drama. It's not you living also. Once there is no happiness in the home, that home is broken. I feel so sad for, this, for the children. I feel so sad for her siblings. I just hope they're able to cope with this loss and move on with their life. For this man, I pray justice is served.
Akpata Tenni. Akpata Tenny. 